This is John Betts with Kansas Pregame, and I am here with Heidi Jones, a student manager uh, for football at Plainville High School. She will, she's a senior at Plainville High School. Um, you were nominated because the you were nominated for the Next Tech Wireless Supporting Cast because your coaches said you are a great student manager. Uh, what are some activities that you do in addition to your role as student manager, and what are some of the things that you enjoy about being a student at Plainville? Um, what I enjoy about being a student at Plainville, I honestly love that it's a smaller school, so we're connected much more. Um, I like the one-on-ones in classrooms and whatnot. Um, I don't just do football. That's the only sport activity that I do, but um, come springtime, I am a part of forensics. So that's the only other thing that I really do, but if I had to choose between which is my favorite between football and forensics, I'm going to have to lean towards football. Why is that? Tell us a little bit about your love for football. Football because it's more of a team activity. Yes, with forensics, like as a team, we try to be number one, but like as a football team, everyone has to work as one big unit and come together in those game time situations and that's why what I love about football is that that unity that's there I, I feel like you should be given pregame speeches that's very <laughs> that's inspirational stuff right there uh, coach Stevenson at Plainville described you as as organized uh, never having to be asked twice to do anything oftentimes having drills set up before he even asks uh, he even said that you purchased water carriers on your own yes. last year because you thought it would be more efficient. Um, you know, tell us about why you take so much pride in doing things the right way in your role as a student manager, and, and tell us a little bit about that water carrier purchase and why you went out and did that on your own. Well, I'll start with the water carrier pur purchase. I actually, my mom and I worked together on that, but that was for my sophomore year. Because my freshman year, all that we had to carry water was a milk crate. And to carry that around, it was heavy, it was awkward, and then when I had to hold it for the players to get their water during the game, I had to rest it on my leg, and it was painful. It would cut into my fingers and my legs, and it's like, I'm going to be a little more professional and get the water carriers, but my mom and I never asked the school to pay us back for those. It was just, it was easier for me. Um, but... I work with Coach Stevenson for, this is going to be my fourth year now, so I've learned what he likes to have done. Um, he's a very forgetful person, so sometimes I have to remind him of things. There have been many times when he's forgotten his keys and I have to run down to his car to grab them. Um, but I know what drills he wants to do on what days. I know what days are offense and what days are defense. Um, before the guys come up to the practice field, I already have all the equipment out. Um, I know that the kickers are going to practice kicks, punters are going to punt, uh, quarterbacks are going to run little routes before practice. I know what they like to do at this point, so I figure I ought to help the coaches out just a little bit and have all that done beforehand. Well, that's fantastic. So what what are your plans uh, for the future? Is is being involved with a football team or an athletic team something that you'd like to do like this in the future? Oh yes, definitely. Um, I'm already looking at colleges and I've had two college offers so far to manage football. I have one directly from Coach Brown at Fort Hayes um, and then I've got an offer at Kansas Wesleyan, which I'm also looking at. And other schools that I would like to consider would be like University of Oklahoma because I know that their sports management team like, they're treated like gods. <laughs> they do so much for their team, and I want to be more involved. So if I go on to college, and if I do manage football, I know that I'll be doing a lot more to benefit the team. So I do intend to continue to manage football. Are there scholarship opportunities available for football yes. managers? Yes, there are. And what, uh, you know, looking further down the road, you know, what type of career path do you think you potentially might be interested in? Is there Would there be any connection to athletics? Yes, I would like to go into sports management. Uh, eventually, if it's possible, between me and my brother, we have this whole idea where we want to be the first brother-sister football coaches. So we work together on that quite a bit. Uh, we're, so eventually, if I can coach, that would be like my dream come true. But as long as I'm involved with football, I'll be happy. 
Well, tell us a little bit about your brother, Nolan. He, yes. he plays football at Kansas Wesleyan University. Yes. Yes, tell us a little bit about him. Um, if it wasn't for him actually enjoying football, I would never be where I'm at right now. Um, if it wasn't for him saying, I guess you can manage in high school while I'm still there, then again, I wouldn't be here. Uh, but he's an amazing athlete. Um, he's had to dump some things down for me to understand, and now we talk football more often than not. But it's just through football, him and I have this bond, this special bond, and I don't think if I ever decided to become a part of the football team, I don't think we would ever be this close as we are right now. Well, that is great stuff. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations for being part of the Next Tech Wireless Fall Supporting Cast. And uh, we look forward to talking to you down the road. All right, awesome. Thank you.